Hey, how's it going, everybody? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Uh, today we are in a, a a new Minecraft world, and uh, before before you uh, freak out, no, I did not uh, restart again. I did not restart a new Minecraft world and get rid of my old one to, to do it over. The Cullcraft series is still there. We're still in the same world. Uh, this is a brand new series, so uh, this is not uh, the Cullcraft world. Um, and this is not a, even a regular vanilla world. Uh, this is um, a modded world that I uh, I made the mod pack myself. So uh, I found some mods that I liked and I, I threw them in and created a mod pack. And I'm also playing on a server. So uh, yeah, my friends will be joining me on here. And so uh, I figured, you know what, uh, seems like it'll be a fun time. Why not record it? Um, uh, record it and, and have fun with that. So not every episode's going to have... Uh, probably not every episode will have uh, my friends and us doing things together, but uh, you can expect to see them in some, and uh, we'll do some solo things on our own as well. Uh, but today, I, I wanted to get started, so uh, I actually do have a, a start, and I want to show you guys what I've done so far, because there, there's a few things. Uh, but I do want to start off by saying uh, I won't be able to tell you all the mods that I have, just because two reasons. Uh, there's a lot of them, and I don't know all of them off the top of my head. But uh, my goal for the series is that uh, hopefully uh, throughout our time playing, we do get to uh, do some things from each and every mod, uh, at least a little bit. I, there's uh, some things I'm really looking forward to. Now, if you look over on the right-hand side, this is all kind of like items that uh, we can get throughout this mod. So there's in our mod pack. Uh, there's 89 pages, so there's quite a lot of stuff for us to, to do, and I want to uh, explore a lot of that stuff. Um, yeah, but uh, in order to do that, I wanted to go ahead and get started so that we weren't, you know, spending episodes just, uh, you know, grinding the typical Minecraft stuff, because everybody's seen that plenty of times, I'm sure. All right, so some of the things that I have, uh, I have these crates filled, which, uh, by the way, these crates were uh, pre-generated here uh, in these structures. Uh, so this structure is actually, um, it's a village house. I didn't make this, uh, but it's part of the immersive engineering mod, and so you can find these in villages, and they're really nice. They gave me this uh, engineering crafting table, which is really nice because um, you can, like, put stuff in the crafting thing and then if you leave it and come back to it it's still there so that's nice also you can there's a storage for it so there's two rows of storage uh, which is really nice as well um, and then the other thing which is even cooler than the crafting table is it gives you these uh, storage crates and the really nice thing about these storage crates is that if I break it everything is still contained in the crate so it's kind of like having a shulker box, like very early game. I actually can't make these right now because you need like treated wood to make them. So I'm glad I found this, found them uh, in the village. Uh, so that was really nice. And yeah, I've just been filling them. They're kind of like wall filled, uh, but I've been collecting some resources and stuff. Uh, so basically, I just uh, want to make sure I had a ton of wood uh, to get started because I'm sure we're going to use a lot of that. Um, have a good decent amount of ores. I didn't find any redstone. I hope that uh, I hope that's not a problem. Uh, I could probably go find some uh, fairly easily uh, if we do need some. Uh, but I didn't have a decent amount of iron. I have a lot of copper, which by the way, copper is awesome. If you look down at my uh, toolbar, uh, I have like all these copper tools. You can even make uh, copper armor, which <sighs> is just like one thing after another. But uh, yeah, you can make copper armor, but uh, I guess I won't be making a chest plate because I have this Curse of Binding chest plate leather tunic. I don't know where. I didn't put this on. I think it like auto equipped. I I don't know. This is like part of some other mod. We'll get to that later. We don't have anything for that right now. But this is like auto equipped. I don't know why. But yeah. So we're kind of stuck with that till we die or till it breaks. Uh, hopefully it breaks before uh, we die. Um, yeah. So. Uh, I got a bunch of uh, gravel and andesite because we're going to be needing that stuff. Uh, we're actually going to be needing that today. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, what I got to get us started. And I think I'm ready to make some things. But before we get into that, I want to show you guys uh, another mod right after I sleep. Alright, so if you look at this cow here, you might notice that it has a health bar, which is uh, not, not a typical thing you see in Minecraft. 
Um, but uh, it's actually not a health bar mod, really. That's just kind of a uh, uh, an extra bit to this mod. So uh, this mod is actually called the um, Epic Fights mod. And so what it does is it kind of changes the way that you can fight in Minecraft. So if you look right now, if I uh, go to hit this cow, you know, that's the basic Minecraft attack. But uh, with this mod, what we can do is we can enable uh, combat mode. Uh, so I have it set to R, so if I hit R, I'm in this combat mode now. And now when I go to hit this cow, it's not the traditional Minecraft uh, fighting uh, that you typically see. So if we pull out our sword, um, and even if I go on F5, you can see this a lot better. You can see that I'm like moving around and my arms are, are moving different. Um, but yeah, I have this sword here, and I can do some uh, pretty cool moves with it. Uh, so, not the traditional uh, Minecraft moves, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, but, uh, so, s there's a bunch of different moves you can do. Like, if I jump up and do that, I can, like, slice the cow like that, which I think is pretty cool. So, I thought it was a cool mod to add, uh, and I think it will uh, be, be a lot of fun. I added some, like, boss mods, so there's uh, extra bosses in here. Um, so, having this... Uh, with those boss mods and and uh, I think I added some dungeon ones as well um, so that should be a lot of fun and it should uh, make the game uh, a bit more interesting and I should mention that not only does it change the way that you fight but it actually gives you uh, some new tools to, to fight as well uh, so if you look over here on the right hand side I got it set to all the epic fight um, items uh so there are some potions some different arrows uh looks like there's a book and i haven't checked that out um, a little bit of armor but uh, there are quite a different uh, bit of weapons here uh, so there's a katana um there's a great sword a spear um uh, not gonna even try to pronounce that but yeah long sword and daggers um so i have used the great sword and i really like it so i want to uh, make a great sword starting out now because uh, the copper sword, it's it's nice and all for beginning, but um, I think I think this will do uh, do us some good. So if I remember it right, it's something like this. Yep. All right. So here's another mod. I'm just trying to find something to test out this great sword with. This is a uh, Alex's. Oh, the raccoon has something in its mouth. I don't know how to get that out without killing it. Uh, but I just wanted to find something to test out the, the great sword with so that you could see it. So I'm going to go into F5 again because you can uh, see it a little better then. Uh, but we're going to try. I think we can kill this raccoon in one hit. So I'm going to jump up and then like it should swing down if I do this right. Uh, uh, no, I'm not even in combat mode. That's why. Yeah. You, oh, golly, the raccoon's attacking me. Okay. Now we got a real fight on our hands. All right. I'm going to try to jump up. I missed. I missed. I'm going to die. I missed again? Okay. I'm not an epic fighter, apparently. Okay. Woo! Easy. We were only uh, a few hearts away from death. I'm trying to eat this, not plant this. I'm, I'm not very good at uh, navigating this. And also, it looks like he didn't drop the, the shotgun shell that he was holding. But yeah, that's uh, the great sword. Um, and there's actually some other attacks, I we might be able to demonstrate it. But uh, it's got a real long swing, which I think would be nice if there's a lot of mobs coming around. Um, kind of like the sweeping edge effect, sort of. Uh, but I would say it's probably a little bit better than that. All right, so I think that's enough slaughtering nearby animals uh, for a while. Uh, but speaking of animals, I do have some cows over there. That was a pre-generated fence area, and I just brought some cows over. and I've been bringing those guys over there. Um, so we got that going on, and then also I started farming, so, uh, we can go check this out, but I do have some, um, I, there are some changes to, to farming, uh, in this mod pack. Um, but there is a nice way that we can get down here, uh, so I hope everybody's heard of fireman poles. Um, we kind of have a similar fireman pole, um, mod. So yeah, you can, uh, use iron rods and make yourself a fireman's pole. Which is really nice for getting down. The only uh, problem is is that getting up um, doesn't work so well. Only only goes down. Only a one-way trip there. Uh, so yeah, we start to scale the mountain and climb that up 
um, to get up there. But down here in our farming uh, area, we have our traditional carrots, potatoes, and wheat, uh, as well as some sugar cane, uh, pumpkins, and berries. So those are all the normal Minecraft stuff, but one of the things, uh, some of the things that we have new are these uh, rice plants, which you can, if you look at the top left corner, uh, you can see that uh, this plant is at 66% growth. Both of them are actually, and you can see that for all these as well, see how grown they are. Um, we also have onions, which is part of the Farmer's Delight mod pack, uh, Casavanna seeds, um, that's Create Cafe, uh, and then we have Industrial Hemp Seeds, which is part of the Immersive Engineering uh, mod pack. So we have all that, and I think there's a, I think there's a lot more, but uh, that's just all the seeds that I had at the moment, and so that's all that I could really plant. Um, yeah, but uh, that pretty much covers everything. That I've done so far. I mean, uh, kind of went into this cave, and that's where I got all my ores and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's 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 about where I've I've gotten so far. So when I was mining, and I've kind of noticed this in the 1.18 update, um, iron was kind of hard to find. Like, uh, I feel like you used to find it a lot. It was kind of like the the main resource that you main resource that you got from caves. But now, lately, I've, I feel like it's just been hard to find. And iron's going to be super uh, important in this mod pack. Um, we have a mod. It's called the Crate Mod. And there's um, some important things we need. I think it's... Let's see if we can find it here. I might have to just search it. But um, basically, everything in the Create Mod, I might be able to, to do this. So I can show you. So if we just find something like this, uh, depot, we need an andesite casing uh, and andesite, andesite alloy. And we actually need andesite alloy to, to make the andesite casing. Um, well, this andesite alloy is made up from iron nuggets and andesite. And so iron nuggets seem like, yeah, that's that's pretty easy. Like, you get nine for each ingot, right? Well, I feel like you go, I've played the create model a little bit. And you go through a lot of iron, so I want to make sure we have a steady source of iron, and uh, caving, I just don't think is, is going to cut it. So, my goal for today is to, to try and use some of the mods that we have uh, to make ourselves an iron farm. And I want to put this iron farm here in the village so that uh, uh, me and anybody else playing on here uh, has access to it and can use it. And so, I, one of the mods uh, that we're going to use for that is the Tinker's Construct mod. So we're going to need this book, and we're going to take it and figure out how can we make uh, the iron farm. Alright, so in order to make the iron farm, I know that I want to use Tinker's in a way. And uh, so we need to use this book uh, to figure out what to, uh, how to use Tinker's. Um, so if we take a look at this, it tells us materials and you, um, and that has an introduction, and it tells us about materials, tools, traveler's gear, modifiers, and then some further reading that we can do. So we can kind of skip through this introduction. Uh, we, for the iron farm, we don't need this stuff right now, I don't think, at least. Um, so I'm going to skip over a lot of this, but, uh, this is important information that we're going to need later on, for sure. Because there's a lot of cool stuff we can do with Tinkers. Um, but I think one of the things we need to look through may be materials. I, there's something specific I'm looking for. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, so we're just going to go on. There's a lot of co oh, there's a lot of cool stuff we can do here. Um, but we need to go on to the further reading. Because what I'm interested in today is the smelting. Um, so we need a book. And as some grout in order to make uh, the book that we need. So I'm going to go get that stuff. Let's see, grout. Um, we can look it up here, I think. I think I, I know, like, the materials needed. Oh, I spelled that wrong. I know the materials needed. I just don't know how to put it in. So sand, gravel, and clay balls will make us some grout. Now, I know it only says we need one for this book, but uh, trust me, we're, we're going to need a lot uh, of grout. So... I'm just going to make as much as we can here. Um, let's see. Can we do that? Yep. All right. So that can give us two stacks of grout. Um, and now all we need is a book, which I don't have. 
All right, so I got us ourselves a book, and we have this grout. We can now make uh, this new book about smelting, and hopefully this will tell us uh, what we need. So puny smelting. Um, let's see, introduction. All right, now that you're done tinkering with those wimpy materials, yeah, yeah. Uh, tiny melter. Uh, I'm not interested in the tiny melter. Is that all this tells you about is the tiny melter? I'm ready to move on to, to the... The, the non puny melter. I thought this book would tell us about that, but apparent, apparently not. All right, so let's go back to this book. Um, Tinker's gadgetry. I don't need that either. Uh, use of slime. Hottest new technology. Multi metals. What? I thought this uh, book told you how to make the the smelter. Uh, apparently not. So maybe we don't need the book. Maybe I just, uh, maybe I just mean this. Alright, so that book was kind of useless, so I'm just gonna wing it. And, uh, I actually had to go into creative just to make sure, uh, this works. And it worked there, so oh, there's no reason it shouldn't work here. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just gonna wing it without the book, and hopefully this works. Alright, so here's an update on how minging it is going. Um, so, uh, this is the puny smelter that that one book was talking about, so I guess the books weren't completely useless. And so, uh, this is a puny smelter. What we need for the iron farm is a non-puny smelter. So we need, we need a real big boy smelter. And so this is not going to cut it. Uh, but in order to do that, we need a smeltery controller. And, uh, in order to make the smeltery controller, we need to pour molten copper onto seared bricks. So, the only way I know how to do that, I, uh, without having the big full-on cop or big full-on smelter, is to use the puny smelter. So, uh, I've made the puny smelter, and I'll show you how that works in a second, but what we need are some seared bricks. Um, we're gonna need a lot of these, so might as well make as many as we can now. So, uh, how the smelter works, if you don't know, uh, that's really annoying. Can we, can we not with the door? Uh, so we have a fuel source, so I got some lava, uh, here. There's actually some lava, uh, right there behind that other building. Uh, so that was very convenient. So we have our fuel source in this, uh, uh, seared fuel tank. And then on top of that we have our, uh, seared smelter. And, uh, then we have a faucet and a casting basin. So if we click on the, on the melter, uh, you can see that we can put stuff in here. So I can put some copper in and it's going to smelt that copper for us and it's going to turn it into molten copper uh which is what we need so you can see it's filling up there yeah now we have eight ingots full if we had nine ingots uh something we could actually do is we could just uh, pour this into the casting basin and get a whole copper block out of it uh but that's not what we're trying to do right now we're going to uh, follow our recipe here uh, which says to pour the molten copper onto a seared brick. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put a seared brick in here. And we hit this, pour some copper on it. And that should give us smeltery controller. Yes. Okay, sweet. All right, and so that's what we that's what we really need. And that took four ingots, by the way. Wow, dang. All right, so now that we have that smelter, we can, or the smeltery controller, we can start building the smelter. And I think we're going to want to build it here. I hope this works. We might have to remove uh, these trees, but we can get to that later. Uh, so the first thing, if you've never made one of these smelters, the first thing we want to do is make a 3x3 three three platform here. And then we want to build out onto the sides of that. Just like this. I don't know. I don't think we have to put... Uh, man, I, almost, I don't even know if I'm going to have enough for this. Uh... Oops, not if I do that, I won't. Um, so we do that. That's kind of our form for that. And then the, the controller needs to go in here. Uh, so we take our controller. We set it here. And now you can see that it's all hooked up. We can fill 108 ingots in this thing. That's crazy uh, for just having one layer. Um, I feel like that's not accurate or something. Uh, but we'll go with it. And then next to our controller, we need to put um, our fuel source. I don't know if it has to be next to the controller, but uh, we might as well. Um, so we're going to put that there. And so now um, we can put stuff in here. 
and uh, we put things in our controller. Oh gosh, and it would start to fill up. And as you can just see, we have some blood in here now. Uh, that's because I fell in and I burned, and I leaked blood into the thing. Uh, so yeah, uh, there's that. Something I actually forgot to make was um, a drain. So we actually need to be able to drain this thing, our smelter. Um, so I think we can make a drain like that. Yeah. All right. So uh, that makes the drain, and I'll show you how uh, that works. All right. So when we break this, I think uh, everything inside might go away. Uh, I don't know if that's true. This is kind of like a test. Uh, I know it will go away for like a second, but will it come back? Yeah. Okay. It comes back. So that's nice. So. Uh, even if our smelter breaks and we have like a bunch of uh, a bunch of fluids in it, uh, I don't think we'll lose them all. So I think this is uh, what we need. Uh, we'll put our basin back down, and then we put our faucet down, and uh, we go like that, and empties the stuff. Uh, so that's basically the premise of the the smelter. There's a lot of other things that we can do that we will do, um, but right now what we're trying to do is we're trying to get iron. So. Uh, so this is blood, which we can't use. So we just break this to get rid of that. Uh, so basically we're going to do the same thing, but with, um, iron. And I'll show you how we're going to do that in just a bit. All right. So you may be wondering how exactly, uh, does the smelter going to give us iron? Like, don't you have to put iron into it? And yeah, that's correct. We do need to put iron into it. And I just so happen to know something that is made of iron uh, so we do have um, a way of creating iron golems and they can come into the smelter and just like I did they'll get damaged in the smelter but instead of dropping blood they will drop iron because they're made of iron uh, so um, it's actually a really good way of getting iron because uh, and I'll show you when we get there but they actually drop iron while they're taking damage and then when they die, they drop iron ingots, and those get smelted down as well. So you actually get like a lot more iron than just from like a regular iron farm. Um, yeah, so uh, that leads me to my next point, is that we have to make an iron farm. So I've already started up there, um, but uh, I've built, what all I've built so far are the chambers. So uh, for this iron farm that I'm building, we need three villagers and one zombie in the middle. So I've built the chambers and so before I can do anything else I need to uh, put in the villagers and uh, the zombie which uh, in a vanilla Minecraft world would be a total pain but uh, I happen to know a way that make that a little bit easier uh, with the mods that we have. So one of the mods that uh, we have here is called Untamed Wilds and uh, what it's about is kind of like uh, I think it adds mods, uh, mobs, sorry. Uh, it adds mobs into the world uh, to kind of give some uh, more vi variety instead of just you know, the pigs, sheep, and cows and chickens that we have. Uh, but one of the things that it adds is this cage trap so that you can actually move those mobs around. So I think we can just drop this here, maybe? No? Can we drop it? We can drop it here. And yeah, we can just push the villager in, and now our villager is in our cage trap. And we can actually pick this up. And our villager is in it. Yeah, so you can see it says villager there. And we're just going to take this, and we're going to go take it up there. And we can place our villager in there. Okay, we ran into a slight problem. Um, turns out there's only two villagers left in here. So, um, I gotta let, set that guy free. And we're actually gonna have to breed them because, yeah, we need three villagers. We only have two. And I don't want all the villagers to be up there anyway. So, uh, this is gonna be a process for sure. Alright, never mind. These guys were just hiding. So, I guess they're. Unless those are the two from the house? Are those the two? Oh my goodness, they're the two from the house. Okay, so um, I was going to just uh, breed those villagers, but I decided that the faster method would be to just go find another village and capture those villagers. Uh, so that's what I did. Um, so now we're ready to uh, set this up. So we got to put a bed down, and then we put a vill villager down. I, was, I thought like automatically opened, and I was worried there for a second when it didn't. Uh, okay, so 
There's that. Um, oh, wait, let me get that back. Okay. All right, so that's what we have to do for all these, and then we have to raise uh, the wall up. So there's um, there's three villager cubes, and then the um, zombie will go here. Um, so let's see, that's an empty cage, and these have the villagers. So I'm going to lay a bed down for all these, and then release our villager. All right, so now we need a zombie, and we need one that can wear armor, because I don't have... Um, I don't have a name tag, and we need something to make sure he doesn't despawn. Alright, whoa, this guy's already got a sword, so that works perfect. I just need him to walk in this. I think this works for these mobs. Yep, awesome. I'm actually going to go sleep real quick, and then I'll move that guy over there. Okay, a zombie is in, and yeah. Uh, now all that's left to do is to finish this platform, which I've already started. And I think we should be good to go after that. And I think I can cover this one. Yeah, so I think uh, all that's left, they should spawn here. I just need to put some water in so that everything flows uh, to this. So I got the spawning platform all hooked up. Everything should be good except our zombie is gone. So I guess that sword doesn't keep him from despawning. So I'm going to have to figure something out here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Get inside. Get inside. Oh, I was so close to death there. Two hearts. I'm having trouble getting any of them to pick up the helmet. They just don't want it. I don't know if they'll take anything else. Or just like, they just can't pick anything up at all. Oh man, I finally got somebody to pick up the helmet. I had to go into the cave and try and get a zombie to spawn. Alright, so now I just need to trap him. And he should not despawn this time. This guy shouldn't. Okay. So we're just going to go throw him in, and then we should have a working iron farm. Alright, so let's place him down here. And bring him over here. Oh, I guess we got to break this first. Maybe. He's not dying from the sun because he has that. Oh, now he's going to keep that too. Are you kidding me? Alright, I need him to walk this way though. Can you do that for me? Can you take a step forward? I'm gonna have to move you. Okay, he didn't budge at all. Huh. Could try and do some water. Seriously? You gonna do that to me? I don't want him to turn into a drown is the problem. Don't turn into a drown. Don't you dare. Okay. We should be good to go. Let's just cover this up. And we should be ready to have a iron farm. Oh, I was just coming back to sleep. Look, we already got an iron golem. Except he's stuck for some reason. I don't know why he's stuck. Maybe. Is he moving? Yeah, he's not pushing this way. Uh, might have to fix that a little bit, but at least we're getting them to spawn. That's a great sign. That's awesome. Alright, and just like that, one water bucket to fix. No! No, 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 no. Okay, we gotta block this off some, too. Oh! No, he still got stuck on that, too. Dang it. I gotta figure out a way to have him not get stuck there. Uh-oh. He is taking... Why is he taking damage? There's no reason for him to take damage. What in the world? Why is he taking damage? That's... What? He's gonna die. There's nothing to cause some damage, though. Is it that fly? Oh my gosh, it is. Okay, we gotta get over there quick. Pronto. Stat, stat. And somehow, keep that from happening. No, no, no. Get out of there. Can you still get in? No, no. Oh, gosh. Where is he getting in at? No, don't, 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 don't. No, not me. Oh, 
I'm trying to save you, bro. Oh my gosh. Okay, we gotta fill that in. Hopefully, hopefully you can't get hit by that anymore. Oh my gosh, that scared me. I did not want to have to go find another zombie. Alright, uh, they're not spawning anymore, and my only thought is maybe that the golems that fell are too close. So I can't kill this guy, but I'm going to try and get him away from here. Come on. Come on, bro. I actually, I don't know if I can kill him with, like, the, the way that uh, the epic fight works. I may stand a chance. Okay, he's down there. That should be far I should be far enough away for them to spawn, right? Or, or not. I, I don't know. Oh, oh, there one goes. There, there one goes. Is it going in? It went in. It went in. It went in. Awesome. Let's go check this out. Although it is nighttime. All right, yeah, so he's going to die in there. Yeah, we hear him dying now. And while he is dying, you can see that iron is being put in here. It's nuggets, but... Uh, the nuggets add up. And when he dies... Okay, he drops that iron and those uh, poppies. And we do have to remove the poppies, but the iron will smelt down. And it will create uh, ingots for us, which is which is awesome. Okay, so we have a working iron farm, it looks like. As long as those flies don't kill that zombie, I really hope that doesn't happen. Uh, yeah, oh, yep, yep, we got another one. Oh, yeah. We're going to have a ton of iron in no time. I guess a zombie is like a rotting uh, corpse. So, I mean, it makes sense that a fly would attack, but uh, just not good for us. So, uh, hopefully that doesn't happen. Maybe we can uh, do something to make sure it doesn't happen. Uh, yeah, but we got a working iron farm, and that's going to help us uh, a lot throughout uh, this as we explore this mod pack and all, the, all these mods. Uh, yeah, so that, uh, we started with a little bit of Tinkers today, we used them, uh, some other mods, um, but I'm really excited to, for our next episode, we're gonna jump into, uh, some, some more mods and, uh, see what they have to offer. And now we got, uh, abundance of iron to use as we do it. So I just want to thank you guys, uh, for watching this episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, uh, make sure to, to like, and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. I'll, uh, catch you guys in the next one.